Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsuits.com, and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick overview of the Netgear Boost Wi-Fi adapter. Again, this booster is actually for more mobile phones as well as for your tablets, which you are using in your home. And when you have a router which gives you a specific range of Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work in all the rooms as far as the speed is concerned or the connectivity is concerned, you can use an amplifier like this. This is actually a Wi-Fi repeat. Or a booster, whatever you may call it, but it actually does the purpose for you pretty effectively. And what what all you need to do is you just need to connect it to the Wi-Fi, and then you can actually use it as a repeater. The moment you put this into a room it will amplify the wi-fi signals and it will give you a better wi-fi connectivity especially in those areas of your house where you don't get it properly so this is how it looks like as far as packaging concerned this is a netgear wi-fi adapter which you can buy for a price of approximately 3000 rupees as far as the MRP is concerned but it is available for a lesser price in the market and it can amplify your existing Wi-Fi range for your iPad for your iPhone for any other mobile device or even tablets as well and over here you can see it has some key features which I mentioned it can improve the Wi-Fi signal strength it helps you to eliminate the Wi-Fi dead zones especially in your home or in your office and it can reduce the 3G and 4G mobile data usage especially in areas where you do not get proper coverage in your house you can stop using 3G or 4G and it works with the existing Wi-Fi equipment so you don't need to have an additional hardware for this this is how it is going to work for example you have the router in this room and you have three other rooms you can actually put this Wi-Fi repeater in a room where you have the router and again it will get the signal from the router and it will amplify the signal that so that it reaches the other three rooms which are kind of far away from the room where you have the router placed so let me just open this package and show you what we have inside as far as packaging is concerned it is very easy to actually open this package they have actually demonstrated this thing over there let me just try to open it in the same way and you have to basically do it like this to open the package and let me just open it here so as i expected this package is difficult to open and just going to take some effort from my end but now it is almost open and here we have the wi-fi repeater or the booster for you it has an on off button a wps key as well a factory re factory reset hole as well in case you would like to do a factory reset on this one and then you have some led notification light over there for indicating whether it is working what kind of strength it is having especially at far as the signal is concerned now the second part of the guide actually tells you where you should actually place your Wi-Fi booster as compared to the location of your router it should be in middle of the device and the router so in case you want to access internet on a device which has to be in a very different room and the router is in other different room then the Wi-Fi booster has to be middle in terms of the location in between these two which will make sure that you will get better Wi-Fi in case you place it nearer to the router but farther from the device then it is not going to work especially with, or it is not going to work that effectively apart from that there are two kind of configuration which are possible you have a WPS button over there which is again going to be used for routers which do have the WPS button in case your router does not have the WPS button don't follow the first guide the first guide actually tells you to connect this one to your router which will happen automatically you just need to press the button over here and you need to press the WPS button on your router and it will automatically get connected and it will create a Wi-Fi with the same name your existing Wi-Fi is with but with an extension with this so you can connect to the Wi-Fi it has the same Wi-Fi password which your original Wi-Fi is and your task is done but in case you don't have a router which support WPS then you can use this second method which is you need to first of all go to your device where you would like to connect which you would like to connect to the Wi-Fi booster network to basically access the internet you need to first of all power this thing on you need to connect it to the 
power port and then once that is done you will see an LED notification light in the middle lit up once that is lit up you can actually find the Wi-Fi network which will be named as netgear underscore extension and you can connect to that Wi-Fi network with the same Wi-Fi password as your existing Wi-Fi password is and then you need to go to the my Wi-Fi exe.net into your browser so let me just do that for you to explain how you can do it now we have joined the Wi-Fi network which was created by this Wi-Fi booster and now I can actually configure it it has opened this new window the password over here is going to be admin and password so username has to be admin and the password will be password only so you have to write down password and then you need to join it it will open up the configuration page over there as you can see where you will see all the details so right now it is not connected to the network let me just connect it you have to go to the setup and check for connect to the existing network then it will scan all the Wi-Fi network you have and you can see that I am connected to this Wi-Fi hotspot which has been created by this Wi-Fi booster itself and I am going to select my Wi-Fi and once I do that it will ask me to enter the Wi-Fi password let me just enter it now as you can see I have connected this one now the configuration is done and I will see the new Wi-Fi network now let me see whether it comes into effect so it is right now active and this is the new Wi-Fi network which I can use especially for devices which are not able to access the main Wi-Fi network signal which is coming from this router so this is the main SSID which is the original router Wi-Fi and this is the booster Wi-Fi network to which I can connect and once I connect it it will be the same password which I have used for my original Wi-Fi network so right now it is connected and I can browse internet with this one as you can see and this is how you can actually use this Wi-Fi booster so this is all we have as for well the quick unboxing and quick review of the Netgear Wi-Fi booster which is actually a very good device in case you face Wi-Fi issues at your home or at your office this is going to help you a lot this is a Wi-Fi repeater Wi-Fi booster which can actually give the Wi-Fi to the areas in your room and office where you don't actually get it from the original router which you are using so that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you